now this is a good question and it comes from Megan in our Excel chat room and she wants to know if we turned on like your iPod right now or if we went in your tour bus and hit play on a CD player what music is gonna blast out a lot of journey journey um, you're an old soul <laughs> probably a lot of Radiohead um, and then probably a lot of Coldplay and Snow Patrol very nice now what do you guys do to keep busy on the tour bus typically we play a lot of vinyl records because I'm really into vinyl records. I think it's the coolest thing ever, and it sounds incredible. So we always play vinyl records. We get really competitive when it comes to video games. Like last night, I was screaming at uh, my drummer because he was beating me in a basketball game, and I was like, oh, no, what button do I press to shoot? And he was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, man, it's X. And I was like, oh, whatever. <laughs> so I got, really, I got really mad at him because of that. <laughs> but uh, we get really competitive when it comes to video games. But we do a lot of sleeping, too, lots and lots of sleeping on the bus. <laughs> What's your favorite game that you guys play? Is there one in particular that you have to win, that you're the champion it, of? It's a game where, um, I don't know what it's called, but you, you have the gun and you shoot like a zombie. And they yeah, yeah. Nazi zombies. That's what it's called. <laughs> and you just keep on shooting, and you have to open the doors, and the, you have the money, and you just keep on shooting. It's really fun. It's very, it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, this one comes from Maylene in our Excel chat room. She wants to know, what do you like ever think about what would happen if you didn't put that video on YouTube, where your life would be now? I'd probably be in school. Um, I'd definitely be in school. Um, still in Edmond. Um, probably on a bus right now going home. <laughs> Just then, going to class for I'd, a No, I'd, I'd be, I'd because be, I always went into like the very back of the bus. And then I would always turn my iPod on, and a couple of times I fell asleep, and they had to, like, wake me up, and I was like, oh, I made it. Oh, dang it, I have to walk home. And I, <laughs> so I was one of those types of kids where I, like, went turn my iPod on, and I was just dead at the end of the bus. I was like, ah, get away. I want to sleep. <laughs> this one comes from Twitter. It's from at Jana Jonas, who wants to know if you could record a song with any person, any celebrity, who would you want to do your duet with? Who's on your dream wish list? Mm. Dead or alive? Either one. Let's do both. Ooh, okay. Well, John Lennon for dead. Oh, of course. Okay, um, alive, Gaga. Oh. Now, have you ever talked with her about doing anything yet? Is that a secret that we can't Maybe know about? A secret. Is it something you want to share right here? <laughs> so cool. <laughs> All righty, this one comes from Michaela, and she wants to know, do you have a celeb crush? Um, I'm really into Diana Agron from Glee. Ah, Glee. Mm. Big fans of Glee. We talk about that a lot. I love Glee. <laughs> All righty. Since you've been kind of like an old soul, you like Journey, you like the Beatles. Here's a question from Thomas. Can you play any Billy Joel music? Do you play any of Billy Joel's I piano stuff? Billy Joel. I love some. I love Billy Joel, though, but I don't, I'm not really playing any of it yet. I got to learn, though. All righty. Now, this is along the girlfriend line again. They want to uh -oh. know <laughs> what you look for. This is from Laura, specifically. And she wants to know what you look for in a lady. Ooh, what do I look for in a lady? Um, somebody who, who's not fake. Um, somebody who tells the truth. And somebody who's, uh, who uh, loves music. All righty, we're going to have a few more minutes of questions here. Audience, again, we're going to open it back up to you guys in a few minutes. So if you think of any questions that we haven't gotten to that you're dying to know, be, uh, be sure to get all those questions ready. Alrighty, here's another question for you. Do you have any regrets about being famous, about putting your stuff out there, about being so young and stepping in to the spotlight? That is from Jasmine in our Excel chat room. No regrets. No regret. No regrets at all. I'm, um, you know, I'm going on tour right now. I'm performing every night, and uh, this is what I've always wanted to do. And so, no regrets. And what's your favorite thing about being on tour? Is it the performing? Is it hanging out in the tour bus? Is it meeting the people? It's probably just going out every night and on a different stage, a new crowd, and it's just, you know, it, it, you kind of have that freedom to, you know, kind of, uh, it's, it's that freedom to, like, kind of breathe, you know, you can really just get into the crowd and uh, feed off their energy. It's, it's really, it's a very fun, and it's just, it's very rewarding touring. Yeah, I heard that you do meet and greets, actually, with everybody. I do meet everybody. and greets after every show, yes. Yeah, so tonight, if you happen to be at the show at Hard Rock Live, be sure to stick around. Is anybody coming to the show tonight? Yeah, anybody coming? Yeah. Oh, we got a we few got people one coming. In. Awesome, yeah, so after the, his uh, performance, go ahead, stick around. You get a chance to meet him, go out there. Now, this is a question for you. What is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you? Ooh. 
there's lots of embarrassing things that have happened to me. I'm going to have to think for a second. Have any of them happened to you on stage? I almost tripped on stage, actually, the very second show because, okay, they have the lights. And so on stage, our setup is we have these little wedges right here. And we have them at the very end of the stage. You have one, two, and three. You have three wedges. And so I'm walking, and this is literally what I'm doing. So I'm going, you know, yeah, so, and I can't see because the lights are on me. And then I'll, uh, oh, sorry about, <laughs> oh, and I tripped twice because I, I couldn't see anything. So I was like, I just tripped. I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I just tripped. And so <laughs> it was just pretty funny. I thought it was memorable. <laughs> did you see Lady Gaga then, or not Lady Gaga, did you see Christina Aguilera then at the Grammys when she almost took that little tumble? I haven't seen that video. Yeah, they were uh, doing a tribute, and she was on stage and just did a little tumble. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, here's a question from Natasha. She wants to know what emotions you were feeling when you wrote your song, Waiting Outside the Lines. Well, Waiting Outside the Lines is a very, um, it's a free song. It's about, you know, getting over something that's really haunting you. It's about getting over bad memories and stuff that's just very, um, it's it, it's very hard for you to handle. And so the whole lyric, you know, uh, you'll never enjoy your life living inside the box. You're so afraid of taking chances. How are you going to reach the top? It's like it's saying, you know, you have to, you can't be afraid. You just have to get through it. It's a very, uh, it's a big anthem to me. And it's, it's, uh, it's very emotional. It's very dramatic, but it's a very positive message. Where do you find most of your inspiration through your own life experiences? You're so young. <laughs> well, um, the record, actually, the album is a really about heartbreak. It's about, you know, going through this relationship and, you know, you're so happy, you're in love. She breaks your heart. You hate her. You still love her. And then the end kind of turns into, like, a kind of dark and very dramatic heartbreak story. So the record is uh, very true and very um, personal. All righty. Here is one. Do you miss your friends back home? This is from JD on Twitter. I do miss my friends back home. And, you know, sometimes it gets hard being on tour and traveling everywhere, but uh, this is what I love, so I have to make some sacrifices. Okay, and this one comes from Megan in our XL chat room. What is the craziest thing a fan has ever done to you or for you or given you? Ooh, the craziest thing a fan has done. Well, uh, there were these two girls, and I was in um, New York. I was in Long Island, and they came all the way from Massachusetts, which is like a five-hour drive, and they didn't have tickets, and they came to give me, because it was Valentine's Day, they came to give me a glass rose. I just thought that was the coolest and most just, like, extreme thing to drive five hours. They don't even have tickets to the show, but they just wanted to give me a glass rose. And this was pretty cool. Like, it was a big glass type rose thing but it was it was so cool i was like you drove all the way just to give me this and they didn't even have tickets but uh it, that that was really special to me very nice all righty this one comes from lisa she wants to know what's your favorite subject at school hmm. i know um <laughs> I've, i'm actually i like math a lot i'm i like numbers so that's a numbers guy that's probably one of my favorites i am not, not saying i'm good girl. at it but <laughs> And uh, this will be the last one that we take from the XL chat here. What is, uh, or actually, what do you think that you're going to be doing in the future? Do you ever want to get into acting or do any side things? No acting. I think I'm going to stay with music. But, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be on tour and in the studio always and making another record after another record after another record. Okay, <laughs> and one more before we start going back in the room here. Did you win your talent show for the cover of Paparazzi? They don't have winners. Oh, so you can't even win anything like that? I can't win, but uh, I don't know. We'd have to see. <laughs> oh, you should have. Well, does anybody else in the room want to ask some questions? Oh, here we go. All right, Ian. What did you want to ask? Um, would you ever date someone that's not famous? Of course I would. Good I don't want to date anybody famous. That's what it takes away from me. Anybody else have any questions in here? All righty. What is your question? Do you have a favorite movie? Mm, okay, the parents back here might know this, but I'm my dad. Um, uh, I went to him one day and I said, "Dad, I really want to watch uh, some mafia movies. You know, I really want to watch like The Godfather and all that stuff." And because I was like, I always see Tanner, who's my older brother, watching him, seem really cool. And he was like, "Okay, don't tell your mom. I'll, ha I'll show you one called Goodfellas." You, you guys know Goodfellas? Yeah, yeah. There we go. You know Goodfellas? Oh, yeah. Very, very intense movie, but I love it. With uh, Joe Pesci and 
it's a good one. Pesci, I couldn't even come oh, up with you got another movie? Or another question? You guys like the same movies and video games? Here you go. Uh, um, uh, do you play any other instruments? I don't play any. Well, hold on one second. I can play. Let's see if I play any. Oh, you can do different instruments on there? I'm also a techno master. <laughs> All righty. It looks like we don't have any more questions in here. Well, I've got just a couple for you. How was it then being on Jimmy Fallon? You just spent your Valentine's Day at Jimmy Fallon on national TV. What's that like for you? It was actually really, really fun, and the show is hilarious, too. It was so much fun. Jimmy's a really nice guy. The Roots who play on this show, they were so incredible, really nice. I had a blast on I heard Quest Love really took a liking to you. He's been saying all in media since then that he's all behind you and thinks you're super talented. Well, well we, I went into uh, the little um, hair studio to get, you know, everything done, and Quest Love was next to me. So I said, well, nice to meet you, man. Congratulations on your Grammy. And he goes, oh, yeah, well, thank you. And then he gets this massive amount of hair gel and just <laughs> So he was like, you've seen me do my hair, so now we have to be declared friends. And so I was like, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you get to do a lot of cool things and see a lot of behind-the-scenes type stuff. So what's been, since you've stepped into the limelight, I mean, it's only been about a year here. We're coming up on April again since you put out your video. What's been, like, the best part of all this for you? Or who's been the favorite person that you've met? What experience have you shared that you liked the best? I think, you know, the best part is probably just, you know, um, making something, you know, making a song and making a record that, uh, you know, making it and you know that it, touches people and that you know it, that it, it hits people it's it's very um you know sometimes you, you have a lot of rough patches through all of this you know you have a lot of uh things you have you know a lot of people to please but you know when when you at the end of the day when you make the music that you know hits somebody that's the that's the goal and it's a very incredible feeling oh we have one more question one more right question. up front here okay well what's your name can you say your name tanner and what is tanner's question I, I do get compared to Justin a lot, and you know it's it's not it's not a uh, it's a very big compliment. Justin's the biggest pop icon right now, but my music is more of like a pop rock. Do you know who One Republic is? Oh yeah, so One Republic. That's kind of more like my music. Yeah, One <laughs> Republic. They write in a lot of songs too, for like Kelly Clarkson and Beyonce, mm -hmm. Ryan Tedder. Ryan Tedder, yeah. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you for your question. <laughs> Now, you are so young, you're so talented, you've got a huge career in front of you. Where do you picture yourself in the next five, ten years? What do you want to be doing as an artist? Hopefully um, putting out another record and going on another tour. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. For I'm being here. We've here. loved having you. You're super talented. We're going to keep following your career. And, of course, tonight you can check him out, Hard Rock Live, 7 p.m. Miranda Cosgrove will be there. And be sure to stick around. He's going to be doing a meet and greet afterwards. You can follow him on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Grace and Chance, so make sure you find him. Thank you so Thank much you for coming. Thank you guys so much for coming.